welcome. Today guys, I'm going to be making for you all a highly requested recipe. Now personally, I've never had this before, but from what people have been explaining and telling me, to me it seems like a pay that you boil or you prepare like a cuckoo instead of actually wrapping it in the fig leaves and boiling it. Now I know someone who also makes this and they bake it. So to make this sweet corn cuckoo, you're going to start with a skillet or a pot on medium low heat. And to that pot, you're going to go in with some sweet or unsalted butter. You just want to allow this butter to melt. Once the butter melts, you're going to go in with your cornmeal. Some pureed pumpkin or butternut squash. It's basically just adding everything to the pot, just like you would with a cuckoo and cooking it down. So I'm going to go in with some minced coconut and you want to make sure that it's finely minced. Some pureed sweet potato. You can use the white sweet potato if you don't have this orange. I'm going in with some cream style corn. Now I'm going to put in some vanilla essence or extract. Some nutmeg some cinnamon or spice so this I'm going to go in with some coconut milk this is going to help cook that cornmeal and the last item I'm going in with some condensed milk to help sweeten this if you wanted to use sugar instead you can and you can put as much or as little as you like so I'm only going to be using half of the tin now all you have to do is mix this to incorporate and you want to cook this on low heat because you want that cornmeal to take its time and cook. So all you have to do is stir, stir, stir. Don't walk away from this because you don't want it to start to burn on the bottom. Now if you guys wanted to put some raisins into this, you can. I don't like raisins so much so I am omitting them. So guys, it's been 15 minutes since this has been cooking on low and if you can tell it's starting to pull together. It still needs a lot more cooking because we want this to be able to come together in a ball because if you were to put this out into your tray too soon, it will not set. So this needs some more time so I'm going to continue cooking it on low heat and as I said, keep stirring, you don't want it to burn. So guys, look at the consistency. If you can tell, it's a very sticky consistency and that's what you want. So now this is finished. It took me 35 minutes in total. I'm gonna pour this out into my baking tray or baking dish. Next, you just wanna go in and spread this out evenly. All you have to do now is allow this to cool down. Once it cools down completely, it will set up and then I'll be able to cut it and show you guys what it looks like. So guys, the sweet corn cuckoo has set. It has firmed up really nicely. So what I'm going to do is cut this into squares. And also, so let me just take one piece out so you guys can see. It smells like a combination of a pone and a pyme. It smells so sweet and delicious. So guys, stop everything you're doing and go get the ingredients to make this. You guys are absolutely going to love this. It is so rich, so flavorful, so tasty. Make this for your mom for Mother's Day. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Thank you for everyone who requested it and I'm glad that on my first try I nailed it. If you guys bake this differently, leave me a comment down below telling me how you make it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please continue sending me your requests and I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!